Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In my previous video, I have discussed about what is semantic interpretation and the requirements in order to achieve semantic representation. In this video, I am going to discuss the two requirements in order to achieve semantic representation. So before getting started with this video, uh, that if you are watching my video without subscribing, then please do subscribe to my channel. And if you are already a subscriber, then please do watch whole video and hit the like button. So now let's get started. Okay. In my previous video, I have said that these five are the requirements in order to achieve the semantic representation. In this video, I'm going to discuss only about structural ambiguity and word sense. And in the other videos, I'm going to discuss about the remaining three. Now, let's see what is structural ambiguity. Ambiguity is nothing but uh, it is having different meanings. I mean, the word is same, but it is having different meanings. But what is structural ambiguity? But the sentence is having some structure, right? Because of that structure, that particular sentence is having two different meanings. So this is what uh, discussed in this particular sentence that structural ambiguity arises when a sentence has more than one meaning due to the way the words are arranged in that sentence. So that particular sentence, whatever the sentence they have given, that sentence is going to have more than one meaning. Why it is having more than one meaning is because of the arrangement. Arrangement is nothing but structure only, right? Okay. See, I have given one example here. Sarah caught the butterfly by the tree. So this particular sentence is having two different meanings. So the first meaning is Sarah caught the butterfly while she was standing by the tree. Okay. And the second meaning it is having is Sarah caught the butterfly which was fluttering near the tree. Okay. The first first meaning is she caught that butterfly when she was standing uh, at that tree. And the second is she caught the butterfly where that butterfly is flying near to the tree. Okay. So next what is word sense? So word sense is nothing but. Uh, you are using the same word in different uh, i mean in different concepts okay using the word is same but you are using that word in different concepts which is leading to the different meaning to that word okay you can see here the same word type or word lemma is used in different morphological variants to represent different entities or concepts in the world so in order to get, get the clear understanding about this, so here I have took one example. Take consider one example as nail. So nail is having two different meanings, right? So uh, if you take a uh, nail, uh, one is uh, it it comes under human an anatomy. That that are nothing but nails or uh, nails you are going to have to your fingers. That is nothing but nails, right? And the other is metallic object. You know nails by using hammer you will beat it to the walls right that is the other nail okay see your sentence says he nailed the loose arm of the chair so uh, the chair having four legs right he nailed the loose arm of the chair so what it means what how the nail is used here so here the nail is nothing not comes under the metallic object right so the sentence is only saying that it is a metallic object okay and the in second sentence he got a box of metallic nails so here yeah, they clearly said that it comes under metallic object again okay and the third sentence these nails are growing too fast see if you consider if you take metallic object it will grow fast no right so if you consider the nails that uh, that comes under human ano anatomy so those will be growing faster so you can clearly understand in which in which sense he is using that word okay and the fourth sentence is he went to manicure to remove his nails so here you can see that uh, you, in, metallic objects can be removed while doing manicure right so it comes under human an anatomy again so here you can see that based on that particular sentence only you can get to know uh, which word belongs to which sense okay either that particular word comes uh, uh, is used in human anatomy sense or that word is used in metallic object sense so you can know by uh, 
understanding that particular sentence only so this is nothing but word sense so in the next video we are we will discuss about the other requirements for achieving a semantic representation until then thank you and one more thing that most of you were uh, watching my videos by not subscribing so if you if you think that this content is really helpful to you then please do subscribe and hit the like button so that will give me the boost to create more content like this so thank you